we're gonna have to remove one, two, three, and two more at the bottom. These type of screws here. They actually have a star uh, T30, I believe, and then a socket. We gotta remove these screws. It has three of them, one, two, and three, it's like a triangle. Get the dipstick out of the way. Unplug this real carefully without breaking it. Uh, I think you gotta pull one of these tabs. And then after that, we will be removing the spark plugs, coil packs out of the way. All right, next I see that we have to remove this one. And there's one right there. This will remove this piece. I heard there's 10 to remove just this one piece. And then obviously it has a tube running down to your turbo, which uh, you could remove as well, just to get it out of the way completely. As far as disconnecting these right here, I think it'll be best to get them off from here than trying to unbolt them from the valve cover. There's no need for that since the valve cover would just come off with them. But to get this out of the way here, at least it'll be best to just unclip them off from here. Once you disconnect the coil packs or whatnot, um, you can actually move this whole rail of cables out of your way. So let's start by removing this, this, and this. Get this out of the way, a little bit more space. Uh, we'll take it from there. Just in case you guys don't know how to disconnect these, all you guys gotta do is pop this gray thing up first. Once it's popped up, pull it up. Three clips, one, two, and just one holding the hose. All right, here we are with this hose, disconnecting it from here, which goes across your valve cover. You wanna get it out of the way, it's just squeeze these tabs here and it'll come off then you have this connector right here and this one to help you get this even more clear out of the way and um yeah here we go all right spark plugs are removed for whatever reason no need to now you can see the tent t30 bolts that we're talking about for your pc valve uh, this is already disconnected from here so one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bolts, like they said. Eesh. All right, PVC removed. Ten bolts, guys. Uh, just pick it up, wiggle it a little bit. Uh, if this gasket is old and you never remove this piece, then you will need to replace this whole piece, or at least the gasket if you can find it. Next will be all your t30 screws that literally hold down the valve cover and i believe there is a pattern for that for you to remove it but first timing chain cover let's do it all right guys just remove the three screws that are right here i use the t27 and just a small socket like that that will hold it uh, with your small wrench it's eventually the only thing that fits in here unless you don't want to remove all this thing out of the way uh, once you crack them loose, you know, you can just remove them with your hand. They're in there with a aluminum thread, so it's not too bad once they're loose. That also loosens the dipstick, uh, which you might need to get out of the way. There is this one screw right here, which let me see if I can focus on that guy. There we go. Right there, that screw loosens that dipstick as well, helps you get it out of the way. And uh, we can remove the one, two, and three and four or five that it has under for this valve cover. All right, timing chain cover is off. And it looks like the valve cover has this attached to it, which is just a timing chain guide. Um, let's just, we'll just stick to it when we remove the valve cover, unfortunately. Thank you, Audi. All right, valve cover is off. You can see the silicone gasket they made. I don't know since when, however, out of all the screws you remove, right here in the back, this is your fuel pump. Uh, fuel, something fuel pressure regulator, I don't know, something with the fuel, but the actual back cover goes in here and it's being held by it down from the edge. So even if you remove all these other screws, the valve cover won't come off until you loosen three bolts. One, and then there is a uh, two and three if you can see that that's only three this one you have to remove it completely because it does 
uh, in here it does bolt onto the valve cover but the other two you just loosen them enough to push this piece back for you to uh, push in the valve cover in there otherwise yeah you won't be able to get this out All right, people, as you can see, the gasket is skipping out. These cars don't come with a gasket, so you have to make it yourself. I've used regular black silicone. Um, AutoZone carries that. That was fairly easy uh, cleaning it up and just making a nice uh, seam, maybe about a quarter inch thick. And once you start putting everything back, remember this area right here. That's where you'll probably uh, struggle the most, but you have to put in the valve cover with an angle of this side in first. And if you see in here, the valve cover will have two alignments, which is one is there and the other one will be, uh, you can see it, it's now bolted down, but it's uh, right in the middle. Those two pins kind of help you align the valve cover where they go. There is specs on these, which is about seven pounds, seven foot pounds for each of, <clears throat> of these screws so there is a sequence uh, you want to tighten these down which I believe uh, these edge here and this one are the first and then these back ones one two three four are your second third will be these three one two three four and these four then fourth will be this one one two three four then you got fifth one two three four and then six finally one two three four so that is the sequence you want to tie them down to uh, little by little half a turn at a time until the valve cover sits down after that you're good to go to actually give it the full seven foot pounds of torque once everything is tied down fully to torque it does mention about a 90 degree angle on each screw after you reach the torque spec and i believe why audi put a line on these screws and that is for you to determine a 90 degree turn and you can see the screws have a line in them so after you reach your seven foot pounds of torque on each make sure you did a 90 degree angle turn and that should be it time to put everything back the three screws behind the fuel pump uh, or fuel regulator whatever this is these three screws i put them last once the valve cover was tightened down that way this screw can align a lot easier other than that uh, finally we're going to cover this put the gasket on there and put this on there we should be good from there all right guys i put the pvc back on there <clears throat> remember 10 bolts these are t30 Make sure you just align it uh, flat with the gasket and tighten it in sequence. <clears throat> Not sure what the specs are for, but they shouldn't be too tight as it's just a plastic piece. It's not holding up anything special. So try not to put it over tight and to the point where they strip. I uh, put the cover on now, it was fairly easy. If you can have someone hold this dipstick, you know, just back like that for you while you put it in, um, that should help. Uh, we put a little bit of sealant on the, the edge, but you really don't need to. The gasket was real good, nice and rubbery still. Now it's uh, this piece right here, which is gonna have three screws. And yeah, we're almost done. Uh, this piece, I can't tell you whether it's good or bad. I'm not sure exactly how it works. It looks like it's uh, mechanically or maybe with a sensor. This might be a sensor. However, I uh, just want you guys to take a look at it and I believe this goes like this. And yeah, I should put this back now. All right, guys, this is the easiest way I found to put on these screws, which are kind of hard to reach down there. And you don't want to remove this plastic cover here. I'm using some wire cutter and then I'm using a quarter inch uh, small with the actual 230 or 227 here's a wrench i use to put those screws in that i'm talking about quarter inch with the racket 
mechanism works perfect. Got that on already. Three bolts. Uh, putting all the clips back on here. Like I said, uh, these right here, to take them off, you push back. That way they lift like that. Then you can slide this in or whatnot. And to lock it, you just push it back down and it's on there. All right, almost done putting these back now. Install the spark plugs, coil packs. Now connecting all these. This should be fairly simple. It just slides in there. Then we gotta put one bolt right there holding the harness down. Again, these clips slide in here and then push down and locks them in there. Some of these were broken, so no biggie. They still hold on in there. Push down, lock it in there. These, we know that they route back this way. This one goes here. This one goes next to this guy. There's a connector in there. It's just gonna click in there. This goes to your math once we put the air filter in there. So there you go. Where the air filter is at, these two little rubber rivets go in those two holes. Your drain hose, which is kind of sit around here. All right. Air filter installed, intake boot tightened, map sensor connected. Gotta get these clips onto these slots in here. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, quick recap here on the tools that I've used to remove a valve cover on this 2011 Audi. Uh, this tool worked pretty good for some angles. Um, didn't use it too much, but it helped with maybe two or three bolts that um, couldn't take in from the front. Um, I, like I said, uh, these, I just used it to put the three bolts in the front of this item here, which helped a lot. Uh, other than that, I use the quarter inch that I mentioned earlier combined with that to do that. Uh, the 10 inch, this one I use for the three bolts that are in the fuel pressure thing and it's behind. Uh, those three bolts worked very well and uh, this wrench worked awesome back there. Very easy to fit in. Uh, these were just adapters that I ended up using in combination with the uh, screwdriver and this tool um, to remove uh, pretty much the valve cover bolts. Um, it was a, like I said, a T, T27, I believe, for the valve cover bolts. Um, this one, it is a T26 and this one was just for the PVC cover, uh, which that's what this screw had, uh, the type of screw it had. Again, these were just adapters and the 10 socket as well. Uh, you will need a torque wrench, this to put the specs back on the valve cover screws. And of course, this is a silicone that I've used, uh, works really well supposed to pretty much uh, dry in about 90 minutes or something like that but um, it's a 90 minute gasket maker engines all put back together let's just hope for the best now shoot <laughs>